Have you ever been told to revisit your friends and family to offer your stuff until they say yes? Well, let me tell you, I was following and doing what some leaders were telling me to do for so many years, but actually those leaders didn't really know much about marketing, let alone attraction marketing. After exhausting myself, I thought that there must be another way. I'm not saying that asking or offering your friends and family is wrong and doesn't work, but you don't want to be the one that people are avoiding when you are walking on the street and they see you across the sidewalk, right? So what if you could actually attract people to you rather than you having to chase them? Well, in this episode number 30, I'm going to share with you four simple principles that are going to make you in a position of authority and attract people to you rather than having you to chase them. So if you want to know more, stay tuned. Hey, 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 Thierry Alexander here from thierryvalexander.com. I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create faster results online to enjoy more of what you love with the people that you love. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new episode and a new freebie that is there to empower you in your own way, in your business or in your lifestyle. In this episode today, I'm going to share with you four simple and fun steps on how to attract more clients and teammates when launching your business online. What I want to share with you first is something to avoid at all costs. Most companies, and you might relate to this, are teaching and telling the people that are in the field building their business with their brand, representing their brand, to tell the, the, the name of the company and the products and put it on social media freely and that they're going to attract people just like this. Whereas for matter of fact and from experience, personal experience, I can assure you that these tend to actually repel people rather than attract them to you because you want to create the no like trust factor with people. You want, to, you want them to know you, you want them to like you, and you want them, then they will be trusting you. But let's dive a little bit deeper into the four elements that are really key in creating this dynamic of attracting people rather than you having to chase them or coming out of your house and wondering who's the next person you're going to talk to, how you're going to engage a conversation, what can you compliment them about to sort of, you know, create uh, a, a, an icebreaker? What is it that we can actually do online to attract people rather than having to get out of the house and feel uncomfortable every time we want to strike a conversation with someone because we're not coming from a, a very genuine place, but with an agenda instead. The first step online is to introduce yourself. It sounds really obvious, but believe me, there's a lot of people out there that they just go on live, Facebook Live, or on any other platforms, and they don't even introduce themselves, so people don't know who they are. It's really important to establish who you really are and who you really want to serve. We'll come into this shortly. So people can relate to you already. They can get to know you. Remember the no like trust factor. The reason why you want to do this is because people buy into people 
and not into products or opportunities. Yes, at the end, this is what they're getting, this is what they're investing in, but initially they are investing into you. They wanna know you, they wanna know if you're compatible, if you are caring about them, and so you wanna introduce yourself for that one reason alone. The way you can introduce yourself is very simple. You can use this formula that I'm using each and every time, that is, Telling your name, who you are, and what you do, and what you're doing. So, for example, when I introduce myself in my Facebook lives or on my blog that you're watching here, I always say, "Hey, my name is Terry Alexander from TerryVAlexander.com, and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create faster results in their business online, so you can enjoy more of what you do." with the people that you love. Now you might tell me, I don't have a website, so what can I say? You could say, hey, hey, I'm Thierry Alexander from uh, Thierry V. Alexander Facebook page or Thierry V. Alexander podcast or Thierry V. Alexander YouTube channel, whatever it is that you have as a platform, we all have one, then use that. You don't necessarily have to have a website, but start with what you have and introduce yourself, your platform, so people can go into that platform, become a fan of yours and follow you and all the, the stuff that you're doing and the value you're providing them with. The second point on how to attract more clients and teammates when launching your business online is about telling your story. The more you're going to share your story from a genuine place, telling who you are, a little bit of your background, and what you're doing now and the reason why you're doing it, the more relatable you're going to be to, to other people, to your audience, and the more you're going to attract people to you that are very similar to you, and you won't need to pitch them anymore because they are going to think the same as you. In fact, we, we always say that facts tell, stories sell. And that's for a reason, it's every single big brand out there or influencers, they are telling their journey, they are sharing their story so, can, so people can relate to them and think, wow, you're talking to me, how do you know that about me? Oh yeah, let me have that offer of yours or let me reach out to you or let me comment on this because this is so me. And this is what you wanna create within your business, within your network. You wanna be relatable. Remember, fact tell, story sell. The third tip on how to launch yourself effectively online and attract more clients and teammates to you rather than having to go and chase them is to Really be confident about talking about your network marketing venture. I used to be so shy about it and this little secret thing, let me tell you around the coffee meeting or let me bring you to a meeting, a hotel meeting or a home party. Let me tell you that you will attract even more people by sharing what you do and genuine people that are already qualified for what you have to offer and that they already want it. When you are more open and genuine about what is it that you're doing, essentially people are responding much better because they know, they're like, okay, that's good, I know what you're doing, or I have an idea. If I'm talking to you, it's because I have an interest in that. So be confident to share the fact that you are in the network marketing industry. Be proud of it. This is a hope industry. We're giving hope back to people. We're giving dreams back to people, what they can achieve, what they can do. So be really proud in this gift that you have to offer. Every single one of us has something to get in this industry, whether it's with the products, whether it's with the, the opportunity, whatever it is, we all have something we can benefit from this opportunity. So be proud to share it openly to the world. The way you can do that as well is by sharing three to five reasons why you decided to get involved in this industry. Three to five reasons why you decided to take the leap and to go ahead with this opportunity or with this product if you're on your consumer. It might be, you know, or maybe you just started with the, with the product and then you shift into the business. What are the three to five reasons that made you say yes to something in whatever you are involved in right now.
The fourth and final tip on how to launch effectively your business online is to share again reasons why you've joined that company, that specific company you are with and three to five reasons that are going to make you be happy to share the reasons you are part of this company specifically. One massive major pro tip in this strategy, if you want to go with it in terms of attracting people rather than chasing people, is to not mention the name of the company you're part of, neither of the products that you're part of. There's a really nice, classy, sexy way to share the company and the products you are using, the company you're part of and the products you're using without mentioning the name of it. And that you want to do it so people are intrigued, they're curious, they want to know more information, they're reaching out to you. You are actually giving them the call to action, whatever it is, dropping a comment, reaching out to you privately, whatever it is that you want to make them as taking an action to reach out to you in order to get more information. Let me tell you that between the difference of since when I was sharing the name or the products on my social media or freely just like this and now using this strategy providing value around the topic, the product and the industry I'm part of but not necessarily always pitching and without giving the name of the products and the, and the company I'm part of has been amazingly different. I have much more positive results, much more positive answers, responses, much more uh, more info requests from people because they want to know and they see that I'm not pitching them. So already we see the interest and the conversation is much more easier to, to, to get started because they're already approaching you. So it's the conversation starts as how can I help you? Because obviously they're approaching you, they're approaching you. So what is it that you want to know? Is it more about the products? Is it more about the opportunity? What intrigued you in what I've shared that made you take the step to reach out? And so you already gather information and you can provide them with solution. That is genius. That is marketing in its finest making people come to you, okay? And you can now track and you can refer back to them, you can follow up with them, and you can really put in, in place a system that is genuine on people that are, try, that are coming to you. And coming to you can be in a like on one of your posts, it can be in a comment, you can, you know, if you put a, a testimony, a personal before and after results of yours, what I see with the business or with your physical results, you can reach out to the people that like your post saying, hey, have you seen my result? Isn't that awesome? I love it. Oh my God, I'm feeling so like crazy energetic. I've got lost all that weight. I'm feeling better than ever before. And this is thanks to that one product that I'm using. And again, you don't necessarily mention it at this point. And you can say, hey, and how's it going for you? Thanks for interacting in my post, by the way. What's going on for you? So you're not saying, oh, do you want to know what my product is? Or do you want to know uh, what my company is? You're just planting seeds. In conclusion, and very simply put, you want to attract people to you by sharing your story, giving value to people, rather than chasing them and pitching and sending pitch at them, right? That's very simple. It really recaps everything that we've, that we've talked about in this training, which is introducing yourself, telling your story, the few reasons why you've decided to join this industry, the few reasons why you've decided to join that company without naming the company's name or the products. And all this combined will make a powerful business launch online. Thus, you're going to attract people, new potential clients and teammates rather than having to chase them, making it so much more fun.
And remember, I've got your back each and every week. I do create a new freebie that is linked with the, the topic that we're talking on that specific week. And because this week we're talking about this online launch that is going to be very powerful, I put together a freebie, which is the three steps to business launch. So if you want to have access to this business, uh, this three steps business launch freebie guide, just click the, the, the yellow button below this video and it will be sent automatically to your email box. If it is on my YouTube channel or any other platforms that you are watching this video, you will have a description section where you will see the link that is going to take you back over to my blog. And again, below this video, you will see a massive yellow button you cannot miss. Click on it and you will be sent the freebie, the three simple steps to business launch in your email box. Did you get value out of this training? I truly hope that you did because I put all my heart each and every week to provide value to you, to create trainings that is empowering you in your own way, in your business, in your private life with this freebie as well. So if you got value, then smash the share button, send that to your people, your network, your fellow network marketers, your friends that are entrepreneurs that might benefit from the personal development side of it or the strategies. Feel free to share, share the love. It's completely free. It's there to be taken. And we need to spread the love in this world, right? With a new agree. Question of the week. What help and support do you feel and think that you need to take your business to the next level? Share with us in the comment section. I would love to know what help and support you need to take you and your business to the next level so I can go and do some research or give you some tips if I already have it and you can communicate with our community that might already have some tips for you. You might have some tips also on how to take business to the next level. Feel free to share as well. We're all here to learn, to support one another, to, you know, the top of this game called life. So feel free to share what is the, the thing that you, you think you might, what is the help and support you think you need to take your business and yourself to the next level. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for interacting all the time and your uh, loyalty on coming on these trainings. This training is a wrap. Bye-bye-bye.